don't feel like moving. I'm just a blob. I'm just gonna lie here on my big comfy couch all day long. Time to stretch. Not now, Molly, no way. I don't feel like it. No, I'm just gonna lie here on my big comfy couch. Blobs are us. <sighs> Molly, I don't feel like doing my stretch right now. Forget it. I'm not here. Nobody's home. Shh, I said I'm not here. Anyways, I don't have to do my clock rug stretch today if I don't want to. You can't make me. I promise my very own self that every day I will get up off my big comfy couch and stretch and stretch on my nice round rug so my body will feel good and I don't get all grumpy and yucky. Grumpy and yucky. I promise to do the time to stretch even when I don't feel like it. Because a promise is a promise. I know, a promise is a promise, even to yourself. So, I'll do it, but I don't have to like it. <sighs> Wanna go cuckoo with me? Okay. you a story? Sure, I'll read you a story. But not right now. I feel too bouncy. I don't feel like a blob anymore, that's for sure. I feel very bouncy. Very. And so does our big comfy couch. Lots of bounce to the ounce. Lots of bound for each pound. Bing bong, ping pong. No, it's not the storybook, Molly. But I will read you a story, don't worry, I promise. What is this? Hey, it's an apron with a pocket. Perfect, we can play kangaroo now. That's fancy, want to? I'll be the mother kangaroo and Molly, you can be my baby, the Joey. That's what a baby kangaroo is called, the joey. Oh, we need ears. Yeah, I need ears, and so do you, Molly. Okay, let's see. Nope. Ears, now, where are they? Nope. Let's see. Oh, here we go. These are perfect for you, Molly. Hold still. There. Okay, there 
here we go. Ready, Molly? Kangaroos, yeah. Into the pocket you go, just like a real baby kangaroo. Okay, we're gonna be bouncy kangaroos. Ready, Molly? Little Joey, little Joey, how are you? How are you? Riding in my pocket, faster than a rocket. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, we were very bouncy kangaroos, weren't we? There you go, Molly. That was lots of fun. So, now what? Kangaroos. Hey, that gives me an idea. Let's go play the alphabet game. I'll make the shape and you try to guess what letter it is. Come on! Can you guess the letter of the day? Okay, let's see now. Um, I know. Or kangaroo. It was a hard letter, Molly, but I did it. It's awfully quiet. What's the matter, Molly? Don't you like kangaroo? What? Molly's upset because I forgot to read her a story. Oh, I promised, didn't I? Oh, I'm sorry, Molly, I forgot. Would you like me to read you a story now? Okay, I will. Let me just find the book. Oh, I just got so carried away with being bouncy, I forgot totally that the story. What's this? Hey. <laughs> hey, this basketball is pretty bouncy today, too. Oh, oh sorry. Storybook. Hmm, now, where is that book? Do you think feathers are bouncy? Hey, Molly? Are they bouncy? Nah, feathers aren't bouncy. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh, maybe this is bouncy. <laughs> well, kind of, but it's more springy. Ooh. What else is this? More bounce for the ounce. Hmm, bouncy? Nope. getting into a bouncy mood today, too. Like me. Where did that 
ball go? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Hello, Major Bedhead! <laughs> I thought you were my ping pong ball. Oh, no, Lunette. I'm your unicycle courier. Only today, I'm your pogo stick courier. Oh. I'm not your ping pong ball. Honest. <laughs> right. But I still did lose my ping pong ball. It bounced out here somewhere, and now I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Well, I'll help you. Ooh, maybe it's visiting Granny. Oh. Hey, will you help me look, too? Oh, goody. Come on. Now. Um, this way? No? Cold, huh? Okay. How about this way? Cold? How about this way? Warmer. Okay. Warmer. Warmer. Getting really warm. Hotter? Hotter? No. Okay, hotter? Hotter? Boiling? Really boiling? Boiling? Oh! Hey! Found it! Look, Major Bedhead! Thanks! Ooh, what a cute little bouncer. But it doesn't look a thing like me, Lynette. Oh, well. I gotta be bouncing off myself. Ooh, wait, almost forgot. Package for Lunette the Clown. Oh, gee, hmm. I wonder who it's from. Wait, maybe there's a card that goes with it. Oh, here it is. Oh, thanks. Oh, from my Auntie Macassar, of course. Let's see. Dear Lunette, I was visiting the Nipissing Ping Pong Company and they gave me some free samples. Be careful when you open the box because... You don't want them to all spill on the ground. Have fun without me. Love, Auntie Macassar. Oops, sorry. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. Really? Then shall we? Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong ball for the green up ping. Pong goes ping pong ball for the green up ping. Ping pong, ping pong, pong ball for the green up ping. You dance divinely, my dear. Why, thank you, kind sir. Well, I have to be bouncing off. Goodbye, Lunette. Oh, goodbye, Major Bedhead, and uh, bounce carefully. Let's go show Molly what we got. Hey, Molly, look what Annie McCaster sent me. We could have a ping pong picnic. <laughs> or not. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, I'll clean them up later, because right now, I promised I would read you a story. Uh, oh, good golly, Miss Molly. That's the Dance Academy doorbell. That means it's time for Miss Lunette to teach her dance class. Hmm, Miss Lunette promised. I wonder who's here today to learn to dance. Well, look who I found. Oh. Hello, guys. It's Eeny, Miney, and Mo. But where's Meanie? Oh, he promised the tiger a pedicure. Hmm, how very thoughtful. Okay, guys, ready for the bunny hopscotch? Ready? To the right, here we go. Ha, 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 ha. Back, back, very good. Turn. Now wiggle. And you show them how to do it to the left. Ready? Hop. 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 Back. Back. And turn. And wiggle. Oh, you were so good. Did you see that, guys? Wasn't he good? Oh, well. Maybe next time, guys. Thank you.
you. That is all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. Oopsie. I don't feel very bouncy anymore. Hey, Molly. Oh, Molly. There you are. So, oh, Molly, what is it? Oh, are you sad? Did you hurt yourself? Then what is it, Molly? Tell me. Do you know why Molly is sad? Oh, the storybook. Oh, I promised to read her a story and I forgot. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't keep my promise, did I? Oh, did that hurt your feelings because I forgot to keep my promise? Oh, I apologize, Molly. Please forgive me. Thanks. Sometimes I make promises to Molly, and then I just get so busy with doing other things that I forget, and, oh, that's not fair, is it? But you know what, Molly? It's storybook time, right now, okay? Okay, now, see here. Ah, glasses. Oh, there we go. Storybook. Okay, just put my glasses on. And turn on the light. There we go, because it's important to have good light. Comfy? Can you see okay? All right. Now, this story is called Not Today. It's about a little kangaroo named Joey who didn't want to bounce. Not today. Far away and long ago, I think it was yesterday, there was a little kangaroo named Joey. Joey lived in his mother's pouch, a handy, cuddly pocket, just perfect for a little kangaroo. There was lots of milk to drink, a snuggly place to curl up and have a nap, and it was the best place to go for a ride with his mom. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Joey loved to peek out of the pouch. There was so much to see. Bounce, bounce, bounce. There were koala bears and kookaburra birds and, of course, kangaroos bouncing everywhere. The big boomers would have jumping contests to see who could bounce the highest and who could bounce the farthest. It was fun for Joey to watch. One day, his mom said, Today is a lovely day. You should go out to play. I don't want to. I like it right here with you. You don't want to. Hmm. Well, Joey, you can't grow up and be a boomer and stay forever in my pouch. Could a big boomer fit in there? Joey giggled. <laughs> no, I guess not. That would be silly. Yes, it would. You are big enough now to start bouncing all by yourself. I know I am, but not today, said Joey. And he disappeared into the pouch for a sleep. The next day, his mom took him for a ride to the watering hole. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Joey watched his cousin splashing and hopping in the water. It looked like fun. Come on in, Joey, called his cousin Wally. Come on in for a splash. Not today. I'm busy, said Joey. The other little roos started to giggle and whisper. Joey isn't a kangaroo. He is a scaredy cat. Joey disappeared into the pouch, but he could hear his cousins laughing at him. That night, Joey and his mom were having a quiet time together, just the two of them. Joey whispered, Do you think I'm a scaredy cat? No, I think you are my Joey, and I know someday when you are ready, you will be a good bouncer, a real boomer. Yes, said Joey. Someday I will, but not today. Joey's mother gave him a little hug. I want you to promise me something, Joey. I want you to promise you will try to learn to bounce. Just try, because bouncing is fun. I know you'll like it. Joey was quiet. It looks like fun, especially in the water. His mother was very quiet. Okay, I'm going to try. I promise, but not today. And Joey disappeared into the pouch. His mother waited. 
Joey slowly peeked out of her warm pocket. I promise I will try. Tomorrow. The next day, Joey peeked out of his pocket. It was a beautiful day. Koala bears and kookaburra birds and kangaroos bouncing. Everywhere. Joey took a deep breath. Big Weldy the Boomer bounced by. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Joey hid in the pocket, in the dark. Maybe he could just cuddle in here all day. Well, then he remembered. I promised myself and I promised my mom. Today is the day I am going to try. Joey peeked out and climbed down. His legs felt a little wobbly. His mother smiled at him. Joey took a deep breath. And he did it! Joey bounced all by himself. He did it again. It felt good. Bounce, bounce, bounce! <gasps> hey, Mom, look at me! I'm bouncing! Joey had a busy, bouncy day, joining in the fun with all his cousins, splashing in the water, and seeing who could jump the highest. That night, when they were having their quiet time, Joey asked his mom if she was glad he tried bouncing. Oh, yes, but she always knew he would be a good bouncer. Mostly, she was glad he kept his promise to her and especially to himself. Joey snuggled down. Nighty-night. He was a tired little Roo, and tomorrow would be a busy, bouncy day. The end. Hmm. Promises are important to everybody. What a good story. So, did you like it, Molly? You liked it too? Great! My goodness, we've had a bouncy day today, haven't we? Mm-hmm. I'm ready to get snuggled in myself here. We'll just get... Hey, wait a minute. Who made this big mess? Me? Oh, I did, didn't I? Oh. Well then, I have to clean it up. It's my mess. It's only fair. So, get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go! Whew, all done. Time to get comfy. Well, I'm really glad you could come over. Here you go, Molly. Sweet dreams. And the clown jumped over the moon.